about some of the art that I've been doing. Um, yeah. Since this is an art show. We're all, yeah, we are artists. Some of the art that I've been doing is things like going to Forever 21, buying this dress, being too old to wear it, and then figuring it out. You know what I mean? <laughs> See, a piece I'm working on is like, can I wear jeggings? You know, um, I found out I can, but it's also nice to prove that you can look petite, but bulky. <laughs> yeah, it's nice that you can wear jeggings because you want to look small, but wide. The same right. Can I get a slack? Can I get a slack right. that makes me feel like, Small, but then like I can really push a car out of the snow. If you guys need it's just right. a little something we've been working on. That's a little something we've been working on. Yes, <laughs> and just a little. We, it's we've guys, been a lot of work. You know what I mean? It's been a long twerk week. It's about okay. a forty-hour twerk week for us. Oh, uh, I have been twerking for the man every night and day. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you know, my dad took me to take your daughter to twerk day, and <laughs> it was awkward. You know what I mean? Yeah, I um. I just wonder that song, she she works hard for the money. <laughs> uh, is that about working like as a prostitute or at Groupon? Not working at Groupon. Yeah. Cool. What's another art we've been doing? Um, I've been working on uh, using my link card over the winter <laughs> to just make sure my thighs are still uh, nice and Italian. Well, actually, I'm half Italian, so half of my bush grows master trolley. <laughs> What about the other half? Uh, <laughs> it's English, so I guess I have bad teeth. Just <laughs> teeth. So yeah, it's just teeth and pasta. So you love it to go down there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, would, I, would, I, would, I really would. Uh, I really would. Uh, <laughs> so what's some of the other happenings we've been doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Great. Well, okay. So you guys are seeing us now, but as, as they say, next. as they say in performing world, in the art world, keep it plugged. Keep it plugged. Keep it tweeted. I'm pretty sure nobody says that. But <laughs> great. Um, you guys are seeing us now. Where can you see us later? Well, we are taking comedy to where it belongs. Where's that? Wrigleyville. Right. <laughs> if we're doing a feminist show, how can we not touch on the most feminist place in town? <laughs> As a woman, you can go to Wrigleyville and walk around, or you can be part of the queer community and walk around, around and, and just feel like respect, respect, respect. <laughs> Good. It feels positive. I know you've all been to the famous spoken word poetry feminist night in big city town. Right. You know what I mean? It's a good bar for oh, I think poetry. I think my favorite poem is called Why Is This Deck on My Back? I Didn't Want It Here. <laughs> it's one of my favorite poems. Oh, um, so we're bringing comedy to where it belongs, to the bill, mm. the Wrigley Bill. Right. Right. Um, we're working on this new show. It's called Douchebags and Casseroles. Sure. It's where your favorite douchebags make their favorite casserole. <laughs> and Tad makes a killer hamburger helper. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? As a lady, we didn't want to leave out the ladies. Right. That's why we're having an open mic in Lincoln Park. Of course. It's called Heels and Tears. Yes. And it's where all the girls that are carrying their heels around all night go up to the mic and then they say how many different tears they shed that night. Right. So it kind of looks like this. Like, Brandon! Reality TV. 
TV. Mm. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Finally, quality television. It's equality it's television. <laughs> Oh, so um, have you guys seen that spooky, spooky show, Toddlers and Tierras, where all those moms purposefully hose off their little girls with bronzer guns? <laughs> oh, you're going to love this one. It's called Baby Tightrope Walkers. And where we take just a bunch of babies and we just throw them on tightropes and kind of just go for the best. Short show. What else have we got going on, really? Well, I have a great happening. I have a theory that um, I'm going to keep getting older, but young kids are going to keep graduating from the Art Institute. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so I'm doing a new happening. It's called Found Objects uh -huh. that I found in my bush. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. I've been trying, it's weird, I've been trying to find my voice as an artist. It's the art pop? Yeah, it's got hot that? right here. <laughs> Okay, so I've been trying to find my voice as an artist for over 30 years. Mm. And you know what I realized? What? Ursula the sea witch has had it in a shell around her neck the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that was just, you know, kind of for me. I mean, you guys are there. <laughs> that's what art is all about, too. You know, art, I feel like, is also a lot about tattoos. Oh, um, gosh. It really art is a lot about tattoos. You can never tattoos. talk to girls about what their tattoos You can never anymore. get the chance. We were just in New York, which is like... Have you guys heard of it? <laughs> it's like, kind of like Skokie. I don't know if you guys know. <laughs> yeah. it's sort of, it's sort of like You think Pilsen's hip and you go to Williamsburg. This is like the red box. Of <laughs> Williamsburg. It's like the bootleg movie they sell outside of the red box. <laughs> Williamsburg. Yeah. Uh, but I got the chance to talk to a lot of girls about their tattoos. Yeah, what'd they say? Well, there was a girl and she was like, um, I guess tattoos right here. And they're all about my hat. Good. But like on these chipmunks right here, they're like about like everything that's gonna happen to me in my future. <laughs> and like this is just a Zelda key on my thighs. <laughs> 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 oh man, I you know you as, an art, as an artist, I don't have the money. You know what I mean? To get it yeah. to, but like you want to fit in. So I went on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. uh, I just ended up with the lower back tattoo of Julio. Right. Um, luckily, though, what I got uh, with it was just all the lyrics to Gangster's Paradise on my thighs, and then when you get to my bush, that's just Michelle Pfeiffer in a leather jacket. <laughs> so when you go down on her, it just sounds like, Fierce found in most styles, living in a gangster's paradise. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the soundtrack yeah. of our lives. Great. It's like so your wish is from the 90s, is what you're saying. I love Gavin Rossdale, is what I'm trying to say to you guys. Great, 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 great. great. Um, a little, I think some other art we've been working on is um, a drinking problem. I've been, trying to, I've been trying to figure out how to make a drinking problem artistic. You know what I mean? Here's what I figured. Drinking at galleries. Yeah, drink in a gallery, you know. Uh, drink in a thrift store. Drink thrifting. <laughs> Did you think it couldn't happen? It can. It can. <laughs> is it a problem if it's so much fun? <laughs> is it a problem if the tamale guy gives you free tamales? <laughs> yeah. Yes. He sees you so much. Um, I mean, you guys might be able to relate to this. Like, we're like, oh, it's been a long week at Groupon. Gals, come on. Let's go out. Mm. Two blue moons. That's it. Okay? <laughs> Look, no big problem, Linda, but if you don't mind, I'm just going to beer home this box of Franzia and then we get out of this TJ Maxx, okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> One glass of blush and seriously call me a cat, right. okay? Yeah. And then you sure. get as drunk as someone in the Civil War that's about to get their leg cut off and have too much gangrene, <laughs> you know? And you call your gals the next day and you're like, well, that was weird. Everybody was so fucked up last night. And they're like, no, that was just you. <laughs> Ooh, and it's nice what's happening with, uh, it's really artistic what's happening with the hangovers in your 30s. Do you guys feel how spooky those are getting? It's just like a haunted house every day. Anybody else feel like they're running through the uh, CBS aisle, Halloween aisle on acid? <laughs> you're trying to, you just, you just kind of ride the bus and you're like, oh, wow, it's and everybody else, it's just an air into things like, can I make it through this Petco experience? Getting sure. food, you sure. know? I mean, I like, it's, it's kind of a problem 
when you have to like really pump yourself up to go to Petco, you know? Like it's just like, okay girl, all right girl, you can fucking do this. Girl, you can fucking do this, girl. You can do it, girl. You're gonna get the fuck into that pet coat. You're gonna get the fucking cat food, and you're gonna get the fuck out of there. Right. Anybody relate to that? <laughs> Anybody relate to um, just in general for in bars? Anybody had an artistic sure. experience before? Oh, <laughs> art that goes on there. You can meet the kind of guy that's like, I'm 35, but I still don't have to do my hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 You can meet the kind of guy that you're like, oh, that's cool. A Tad or Chad or Brad or are you talking about? Yeah, who lives in North Carolina, or are you talking about like how you quit marketing? You want to take an improv class? What is this going to end in a finger blaster? <laughs> you know, I, mean, I can wrap this to go. <laughs> time is money. Time is money, boys. I like to call 4 a.m. bars. Oh, okay, keep it. <laughs> Who? Is it inside me right now? <laughs> like, uh, does your person have like red hair? <laughs> oh, does your person is your person the only black girl that looks like one of the sites? Oh no. Oh, does your person have a beret? Yes. It's Maria. <laughs> and that's you know just well guess who? <laughs> uh, let's talk about. Well, I mean, okay, so I've thought about it. Like, I'm an independent, um, all you women independent, throw your hands up at me. Is that the, I, I wrote that, that was mine, that was me. Um, I thought about it, like, do I need a boyfriend? And then I realized I don't, because I've already been to the Olive Garden, right? I've already been to the Botanical Gardens. I've already been to the Shed Aquarium, sure. <laughs> seen all the hot spots. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought about it, I was like, yeah. do I need a relationship? And then I was like, well, I've had sober sex, and <laughs> I'm really not interested. Boring! <laughs> yeah, I didn't get it. I just didn't get it. Oh, I was looking at eyes down and crossed in different directions. Do I need to know both your names? Maybe not. You know what I mean? Huh. Stuff like that. <laughs> do I need to know both your names? No. Probably not. Yeah. Should we share a couple tips before we get out of here? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, maybe some tips to you know, you guys being able to be out in the world as ladies, as men. Men can be feminists, we all are cool with that. This is not 1952 anymore, right? Are we all okay. on our strangos? Can we it be on our It's really hard for me to think of what to say without a man up here, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, I can't believe I'm up here. Like, I got out of the kitchen, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I know, it is really. That's surprising. I'm surprised I'm not on my period right now. <laughs> <laughs> I did lose a lot of iron, so I can pass out pretty soon. <laughs> okay, so the tips. Uh, you can't do uh, comedy as a female comic unless you're on your period. I hope everyone knows. Yeah. Do you want a tip? Do you want a tip first? You want I, I feel like since it's a, a lady show, we yeah. should maybe do something that we do at our show. But the tips, or? No, I mean, you can give the tip. Lay a tip off. All right, we're going to lay out a few tips, and we're going to end with just a little something that we like to do to make ourselves feel better. We are sisters. We live together. Mm -hmm. Things get kind of weird, you know? <laughs> this is why we're doing this. Real hard. So, you know the kind of nights um, that you're feeling cool, and you're like, <laughs> you like look in the mirror, and you're like, all right, girl, you're going to fuck tonight, you know? And you, like, put on your bangles and your cool jigs, and, like, put on, like, funky eyeliner, you know? Like, put on some blower, cool whatever. <laughs> And you like trim up your bush and put a little lavender <laughs> oils on it, okay? Let's act like, let's, let's be honest, it all happens. Sure. That's the night. You are not getting laid, okay? The moment that you slip on your seventh grade period underwear, you are going home with the hottest guy in the bar, sure, okay? It'll look a little something like this. You're like, wow, that's cool. You're an artist? Oh, you're in a band. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I have my Tweety Bird bloodies on. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yes. I don't know if that's a tip. That's just a fact. That's a fact. You want me to get lay a tip? Lay them on a funky tip. Okay, here's a funky tip. I think you should give them some funky news. I think you should mark you mark on the funky punch. Okay. Here's my tip. You go home with somebody that you don't like, which is most of them. A lot of them. 
um, and you want them to leave your house. This is Most little fun spoof that I like to play, that you guys can play too. Brunch or spoof, that's something yeah. you can do in the morning. Yeah, brunch or spoof, and if you like them, you're gonna get a brunch, but if not, you're gonna give them the spoof, which is just, you get naked and then get over top of them, and then just get really drippy over top of them, and then just wait, and just be like this. Wait for them to open their eyes, and then just go. <laughs> Mom's neck massager, and then our poor Christian mom used it all 